This is One on One. We are pleased to uh, welcome Stephanie Mulfinger, Director of Call Center Services at Mental Health Association of New Jersey, an organization we've been working with to try to deal with a whole range of mental health uh, issues. But one of the issues that we've been talking about a lot with uh, your organization really deals with opiate abuse, the heroin problem. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why is it so serious? And by the way, you're going to see a couple of telephone numbers up that are critically important. The, uh, the New Jersey, the NJ Connect for Recovery line, which we'll talk about, and also the New Jersey Mental Health Care line, both numbers critical. The opiate problem. The opiate problem um, really in part comes out of in the last 10 years there have been an increase in prescription painkiller, prescription painkillers written, things like Oxycontin, Percocet, things like that. What people don't realize, now this is something legally prescribed by a doctor. They think they're doing something safe or something a teen grabs out of a medicine cabinet impulsively. People don't realize how addictive these things are. They become addictive, they can't get a script again, they become desperate. Choices are buy pills on the street for $35 a pill or you know, it gets easy to turn to heroin, four to six dollars a bag, cheaper than the average cup easy? of coffee. How easy? It's four to six dollars a bag. It's oh. cheaper than the average cup of coffee. And New Jersey is seeing one of the largest problems in the country because where we're located, in one of the largest import zones for heroin in the world, right in between Port Newark and Elizabeth and Philadelphia. So there's a lot coming in, and it's really pure because people are getting it right away. And let's talk about NJ Connect. What is it? Why is it so critically important? Sure. Like I said, there's an epidemic in New Jersey. People are dying. New Jersey Connect for Recovery could be a lifeline. What is it? What you call it, someone calls it. Listen, we hope you don't have a problem, but there are too many people who do, so we yeah. know realistically pe people are going to use it. You call, what's on the other end? Who's on the other end? Sure. It's a toll-free confidential helpline specifically for two populations, only one in New Jersey for these two populations. People concerned about their own opiate use, prescription painkillers we talked about, or heroin and their family members, friends, and loved ones. And there's the really important part that we're treating holistically the entire system when there's addiction. Why do you need to do that? Why won't you just deal with the person who's struggling, who's challenged? Right. Why is that important? Because when there's addiction, it affects every aspect of a person's life. It decimates every relationship. Entire families suffer. This is a national epidemic, but it's taking one family at a time. What do the families need? What do they need? They need what our line is giving them. Uh, you asked who answers it. Yeah. The other thing is we have a really unique staff. We blended staff. We have two kinds of people that people can access. Certified alcohol and drug counselors, but then we have family peer specialists. They're individuals. Family fa peer specialists. Family peer specialists. The key being there that they have their own experience with addiction in their family. Also trained in a counseling model. So they can bring to it how do you survive this if you're a family member? What tools do you use? Where do you find help? Where do you find hope? So that's what our family peer specialists do, and that's what people can get when they call the line. Talk about the other line. There's another line, uh, Jen, let's put it up. That is, well, the overall line for New Jersey Mental Health Care, Care's line. Mm -hmm. Because the Mental Health Association provides services in a whole range of areas. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. Sure, the New Jersey Mental Health Care's Helpline actually is celebrating its 10th anniversary next month. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, in the area of 180,000 calls in 10 years. And what they have been doing, again, it th that is professionals on the phone who are helping people navigate the public not for profit mental health system. And again, doing holistic. Hard to navigate? Yeah. <laughs> is it really? Yes. It's, uh, it, it can be difficult. Because remember, Someone who's experiencing a substance use or a behavioral health problem, you know, they're already overwhelmed. You know, they're already struggling in a lot of areas of their life. So sometimes it helps to have somebody to walk through the pieces. Sometimes the answers are not straightforward. I'm thinking about this. Someone, someone who's struggling, mm -hmm. someone who is in the throes of this, mm -hmm. these challenges, what would it take for that person to pick up that phone? and do this? That is a great question. And that really speaks to on all our lines, why we have you know, trained professionals answering or trained peer specialists, because they need to hear, one of the things we make sure they hear is that it is safe and non-judgmental. What does that mean, non-judgmental? Non-judgmental meaning wherever you're at, whatever your question is, 
whatever you're afraid of, we can start there. They need to hear thanks for calling today because we know that's not an easy thing to do. do the rest of us. Do we, Stephanie, not understand enough, I mean, as non-professionals in the field, who sometimes, we, when we know of someone who's struggling with addiction, and we've, we've um, I often say full disclosure, I'm proud, really proud of this disclosure. I've moderated some really powerful forums held by the Mental Health Association where I've learned so much, where I thought I knew something, and I realized I didn't know anything about this. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that really struck me is that Sometimes we, we assume that someone who is in the throes of addiction, that they can quote unquote tough it out. And I often have asked myself with some friends and family members, like with so, with so much on the line with children and mm -hmm. their children, I think, don't you see what you are doing? We don't help when we do that, do we? No, I mean, I think one of the things that's happening with this movement to, towards more holistic recovery and looking at this as an illness and a challenge rather than a law enforcement issue is that, right, people are struggling, and if they could change it that easily, they would, but they yeah. can't, and that's why we need these supports. So, so for the rest of us, yeah. what, and again, calling the line is critically important. We're real, real professionals are there. We are not. Mm -hmm. Is there any... Or is it dangerous? Tell me if it's dangerous to give anecdotal advice to the rest of us as to how we can help those around us who are struggling. Is there any one thing we could do that won't hurt but might be helpful? Start exactly where we start in the line. You know, safe, no judgment. You know what? What's going on? Let's just talk about what's happening. It's okay. No matter what you tell me, we'll figure it out. That person needs to know they're safe. Mm -hmm. They're not being judged. They're not being judged. And they're is help and can is it okay to try to encourage that person to call that line that'd be great call the line save a life can can we call the line ourselves and hand them the phone yes uh, could i tell a story sure real quick real quick story um i think that illustrates the work of the line we had a mom call got one of our family peer specialists okay she was just distraught because she's trying to find a way to get her son to save his life you know, he's using heroin, dropped out of school, working sporadically. She makes that connection with the peer specialist. Okay, here's the magic. She says, you know, my son's in the house. Could I put him on the phone? The peer specialist is able to transfer the call right over to one of our certified alcohol and drug counselors. The son gets on the line. You know, he's heard it before. They have a conversation. It's exactly what you said. We just start with, look, you know, what's going on right now? Are you controlling heroin? Is heroin controlling you? We get off the phone. We don't know what's going to happen with that family. We don't know what's going to happen with so many families. A few days later, though, that son calls back, asks for that counselor, and says, I'm in rehab. This time I'm staying. And when I'm done, I'm going to keep calling New Jersey Connect for recovery. There is help on the other end. There is help. You know, with everything you've seen and all the struggles and challenges that you faced, what is, you don't expect this question, the biggest leadership challenge you have faced? Myself as a leader? Yeah, because you are. Yes, uh, it's not a hard question. Resources in the system. Resources. There are compassionate people everywhere. There are places to, you know, get the safety, but then, um, and, you know, this is, uh, there was a recent article that mentioned, you know, Governor Vitale's bills and... Senator Vitale. Excuse me, Senator... I love that you just said that, but go ahead. Senator <laughs> Vitale's bills and the Mental Health Association has worked closely with him. And um, one of the things they're about are funding more treatment services because lines like ours can be more helpful if there are places to get people to. Stephanie Mulfinger, Director of Call Center Services at uh, the Mental Health Association of New Jersey. A great organization. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Stay Thanks, right Steve. there. We'll be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by New Jersey Resources, Steve and Elaine Pozicki, the New Jersey Education Association, the Northward Center. Investors Bank, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by Choose New Jersey, 
Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.